So glad you're with us. Such an important week of truth here, 100 Huntley Street, asking, answering the question, what does it mean to be born again? You better be careful because you start asking and answering this question correctly. Lives are changed all over the place and may the Lord do that. We're understanding again, Jesus said you must be born again. Jesus says, do not marvel that I said you must be born again because this is essential for spiritual life. But here's what I want to do today as we kind of recap and summarize this week. What is the fruit and the blessing of being born again, which theologically also can be said regenerated? Let's examine scripture. I love Bible studies. I love to see kind of when we're going through an overview of God's word, what we learn. So number one, okay, the power of the Holy Spirit when I'm born again or being regenerated, again, this means I am sanctified. Okay, I'm just taking verses and spelling out what it means. Sanctified means to be made holy. So right here in 1 John 3, it means again, I will not keep on sinning in terms of Je Jesus has forgiven me and I'm growing more and more like him each day. Let's go to the next truth or slide of what it means to be born again or the proof that I am. I am a child of God. How, how encouraging is that? When I am born again, 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 I'm not born again of blood only or the will of the flesh, but I'm born of God himself. And this is coming from John chapter one. To be born again, you are in the family of God. Praise the Lord. Next one, let's take a look at this. To be born again means I'm indestructible. Now, how's that encouraging for such weak and frail human beings that we are? But this is true. Look at first Peter, understanding. You've been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable through the living and abiding word of God of God, indestructible. Let's look at the next one here. I am saved, of course. Learning this from Titus chapter three. Watch down here. The washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, that's how we have been saved. Isn't that so awesome? All again, from understanding, we've been born again by the Holy Spirit of God. Next one, once you see this, I have a living hope. So when I am born again, I have been given a hope that will never ever be taken from me. It is alive, I will not die. Again, it will last for eternity. This is exactly what God's word is saying to us once again in 1 Peter chapter 1. And let's continue on. I think there's another one I want to look at too. I am a new creation. And let's just end right here, okay? For me and you to truly be born again, we have gone from death to life. The old has gone, the new has come. Praise the Lord. Isn't that so awesome? We are literally made into new creations. Never to see the same, never to live the same. Doesn't mean life's going to be easy. In fact, it means that life's going to be pretty difficult on this side of heaven. But we know why we live. We have the purpose again of our reality in the Lord Jesus Christ that we have been caused to see and gain entrance into God's kingdom and never, ever die. The power of being born again by the Holy Spirit of God. So all that this week to get to this point, where are you? Where are you right now? Has your life been framed by religion and rules and rituals? Or right now you understanding it's the relationship. Remember, just like Jesus in John 3 with Nicodemus, he's talking to a man who was searching, but talking to a man who was steeped in religion, but had no relationship. And he's like, hey, Nicodemus, you gotta be born again. You must, you must, no exceptions, ever, ever across this world. You must be born again. Call us right now. 1-866-273-4444. We will love you. We will answer your questions. We will lead you to Jesus and pray that you too would be born again, never to die ever. You're so loved.